everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this glam valentine's look and we're just going to jump right into the video. I'm going to start off by priming my face with my Benefit Professional Primer and Too Faced Hangover RX. Don't mind my hands, I got a spray tan and instead of using barrier cream to prevent the tan from soaking into my hands, I use hair nets. <laughs> so they look atrocious. Um, for foundation, I'm going to be using my Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. Um, I'm just going to dot it all over my face and then blend it in with the Damp Beauty Blender. This foundation is most likely my favorite drugstore foundation and it's like the perfect shade for when I have a tan. So for my brows, I do those off camera because they're a mess and I'm still in the process of growing them out. But I'm just going to move on to eyeshadow and prime my lids with some concealer so that they are um, creaseless and ready for eyeshadow. The first shade I'm going to take is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and it's the color Tempura. I'm just putting it all over my shadow as a base. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and pick up this color Georgia and work it into my crease. It's just like a light pinky shade. But... After that color, I'm just going to stick to the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to start by picking up this color Bueno Fresco and working it into my crease, creating definition. The next color I'm picking up, I think, is called Love Letter, but I'm not for sure. I'll have it in the bottom bar, and again, I'm just going to be putting it in my crease, making more definition. Um, I'm really totally clueless on the, the name of that shade, but it's just like a red shade that I'm again making some definition in my crease with making sure it's as dark and pigmented as I want and then using a little concealer brush and some more Maybelline Fit Me concealer I'm going to basically be carving out a section on my lid where I want my um, glitter shadow to go and then the concealer will make it so that the glitter sticks and doesn't go up and into my crease. For my lid, I'm using Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in the color In the Spotlight. It's so pretty and they're all pretty decently priced, so I love Makeup Geek shadows. And then I'm just going to blend out my entire eye with a blending brush, making sure everything's how I want. In this moment, I realized that my camera shut off while I was filming and I couldn't shoot my concealer clip, but I just use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, and I'm baking it with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then here, I'm just using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to contour my face and blending everything out, making sure I don't let my under eye bake for too long because I don't want it to get cakey or gross, and then I'm just blending out everything and all the fine lines. For blush, I'm using Max Blush in the color Breath of Plum. It's like my favorite purpley pink color. And then for highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ultimate Glow Kit on the highest points of my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose in Cupid's Bud. For my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Liquid Lipstick in the color um, Solo Swallow. I'm not really sure. I love their liquid lipsticks. They're like my favorite right now and they're super pigmented. But that is all for this look. The video went way quicker than I thought, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye!